Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about The Lone Ranger. I've also written and reviewed this, you can check that out via the link in the below bar. If you watch my videos regularly, you'll know that I do usually split up my videos into sections and talk about things in different segments. With The Lone Ranger, I'm not actually going to do that. And the reason for that is because my thoughts are just so scattered and so ranty, to be honest. It, the written review will be coherent, it will make a lot more sense than what I'm about to say, I imagine. Because my thoughts are quite all over the place. I really don't know what to think. I was really looking forward to this. I am obviously a massive, massive, massive Helena Bonham Carter fan. Um, but I will say right now, if you're a Hellenist and you're only watching it for Helena, she is in at the most 10 minutes. Literally, every, a film that's... how long is it? I can't remember. It's, it's less than two and a half hours, but it's over two hours. For a film of that length, she is in it literally 10 minutes and her character isn't that important. So I don't really think they have the rights to have her on the main posters. Um, but in fairness, I probably wouldn't have bothered as much if she hadn't been in it. Um, so with that out of the way, I think the story itself is... It had the potential to be good. Because it's a story told within a story, um, Tonto is... Well, this man who is in the form of Tonto, whether or not he's Tonto is up to you. But um, this Tonto is telling the story of Tonto and the Bone Ranger to a little boy. And that had a really good foundation for being a very good story. I love stories that are like, narratives within narratives. It works so well most of the time. This one, that wasn't the issue. The fact that it was a story within a story, I guess, was done alright. It's the story within the story that is the issue. It is just, it's not told very well at all. The second half is brilliant. I'll talk about that in a moment. But the first half of The Lone Ranger is appalling. I have a lot of issues with the pacing of the first half. I think there are moments where it's just going by too quickly and then there are moments where you're sitting thinking we've well, been on this scene for too long, let's just move on and get on with it. Um, there's kind of an issue with chronology, um, intentional. Um, it does kind of chop and change slightly between, I wouldn't quite say analepsis, but they do kind of go back and forth a little bit. Um, kind of in the beginning and that for me I think is uncomfortable because they've not done it effectively. If it had been done well then fine. We also get a lot of characters introduced that you think you have to pay attention to. You think they're going to be important so you really spend a lot of your energy to be honest paying attention to this character and then you find that they're never in it again. And I'm like that that was a bit of a waste of a character. Characters don't live up to their full potential. And I will say that with Red. Helena's character. Red could have had a more important role. And I'm not just saying that because she was played by Helena. She could have been played by anybody. She had the potential to be bigger and to have more of an impact. It didn't work out. And then there are some characters in it at the other end of the scale which are quite stock characters and they don't have a lot to offer and yet they have so much dialogue and they seem to have a lot of action but they're so boring and so dull and I don't like them. Now for the good bit. The second half is hilarious and this does come down to Johnny Depp's character Tonto and his chemistry with Army Hammer who plays the Lone Ranger. And they are fantastic together. Credit where it's due. I think that casting is brilliant. The film wouldn't have worked without Johnny Depp. For the first half I was watching it kind of thinking this doesn't feel like a Johnny Depp film. I know you can do films that aren't within his kind of general cliche canon but I was like this doesn't, I don't know why Depp is doing this. It doesn't feel like anything he would normally do. But with the second half, I I cried laughing on quite a few moments. And the second half of the film is just completely different to the first half. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog making very odd noises. The second half, it, it flows perfectly. The pacing is great. The dialogue is brilliant. The quality of the acting is fantastic. Um, and in terms of comedic value, it's, it's hilarious. And the story just... It's complete. The first half is not funny. It does not unfold well. It bores me to tears. Dialogue boring, characters boring. Second half, the complete opposite. There are quite a few moments where Tonto's facial expressions just make me want to die laughing. They're hilarious. Um, and I won't spoil my favourite moments, but if you, if you have seen it and you do want to discuss with me your favourite moments, you know, message me or something, because there are some moments that I just would happily watch over and over again. And it's with that that I do want to stress that please persevere. A lot of critics have said that it's rubbish completely. I would disagree. 
I do think it's quite a battle to sit through about an hour and <laughs> roll off about an hour and fifteen hour and twenty minutes of a film. But to get to the good bits, I do think it's worth it. That is how fantastic the second half of this film is. I would happily sit through the first half of this film over and over again just to get to the good bits. Um, it, it, there are certain moments, especially towards the end, where you feel like you're watching a classic western. And I am quite partial to a western. More literature, more novels, more so than um, films. Clifton Adams is brilliant. But it does feel like a traditional western at some points, but some points it just feels like a really cliché, cheesy attempt at doing one. And again, that's the first half. The second half is brilliant. So I guess it's down to your personal taste, but persevere and put up with it. You will love it if you like the second half. First half, just ignore it and you know, pay as little attention as you have to. It doesn't make much sense for me, at least, until you hit the middle point. Um, Helena comes into it at about an hour and a bit. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on The Lone Ranger. It's it's an odd one. It really is. I will buy the DVD, mainly because my Helena collection needs it. It's a tough one to give your opinion on. But there we go. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.